this is a Cora versus Lucario. This is gonna be really interesting. Um, Not an unfamiliar matchup, I assume, for Boost. I don't know if he's played Braxton before. I come to think of it, yeah, because Braxton's not real. Yeah, he's active. not. He's, he's all a big one of our matches. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, he's played against Diffy Q in Purdue. Whoever the oh, I've heard. Yeah. Wait, is it Diffy? <laughs> yeah, I'm I think sure Diffy. I think Diffy Q is the Lucario. I don't yeah, know. I, I think he is. I haven't yeah. gone up there to play myself. You have or have not? Have not. Yeah, gas is a thing. Outside of. Uh, uh, there was like arpeggio, but I don't yeah. know if Diffy oh, Q was around was back then. Ages ago. That was arpeggio. a while back. Sounds like. But yeah, so he's got some Lucario experience. His Diffy Q kind of tears things up, up up at Purdue sometimes. All right. But everybody's different. Going to we'll town just have to find one. out. We're at Pool 8 Wissimis. It was actually interesting. Earlier I said something about, oh, man, Renegade's here. Probably didn't even know who I was talking about. <laughs> they're st apparently they're still attributing a uh, boost under RC. Is RC still a thing? Chris was probably going to try to bring it back because he's here today. He was taking that early few percent. That down air was weird. But it's, it's fine. Anything, I feel like it helps that Primal doesn't really, like, I'm not sure if he knows his boost, but, like, from what I understand, he didn't really under know any, like, the PR players because he's from Fort Wayne. Um, if anything, I feel like mentality-wise, that actually helps. Like, because I'm a person who kills myself. <laughs> and so if I didn't know who the heck the guy is, if anything, that will be better than knowing he's number like one You ever just go world. in and you're like, oh, this guy's super good. I'll never win. Exactly. You you do it to yourself, in all honesty. But maybe he doesn't have that anyway just because he is, like we were saying, he's Lucario. He's used to just losing he constantly just because his character kind of sucks. Exactly. But then he hits you and you die. Mm -hmm. Right now. Like right there. Right you got there. Him. Exactly. He's actually has some really good spacing and co cover-ups with his back air that he does. Yeah, he just barely managed to survive with his DI. Definitely. Boosted. I honestly really hope to see Another some. back air. Let's go. I, yeah, that oh, one did oh, kill oh, 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 from across dude. stage. I'm telling you. Was that DI or was that Probably DI. Or was that just Lucario? I mean, it's for sure Lucario. Yeah. But he could have DI'd a little better, I want to say. Because the last back air didn't hit him from across stage. Yeah. And he survived. All right. So. All right, Boost going to back off a little bit. Boost definitely fought back and took back that stock. And so. Yeah, he immediately came back. You get a quick jab. Only 5%. Lucario is trash without his aura. Getting this game some uh, forward air conversions with Corrin, which we know can be really good and get some good early percent. Oh, I thought that uh, Primal had gotten a pivot grab out of there, but Boost grab first. Boost is like, nah, fam. Okay. okay, getting the mostly lagless up B there. <clears throat> Boost kind of doing the same thing as he did first stock. Yep. But hopefully for him, he doesn't continue to do the first the same thing. Boost, I know, like, we, we all know that. It's not over. <laughs> it's never over. <laughs> like, well, I'm sorry. Like, up right people there. talk about that all the time in special commentary here, but, oh, just come back. We're talking about Lucario here. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's always ready to come back. He's always ready. His body's ready. Oh, I don't know if he meant to walk -ling there. The getup attack did 11. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Now, he has aura and ooh, If that gonna, back air had hit, He's pretty it wouldn't hefty. have killed or anything, He's but it would have. Whoa. Oh, that's going to be a punish. That's no. not going to be a punish. What the heck? Yeah, that's going to take throw, it. Up throw will do it. Game one to boost. That was like boost was just overwhelmed by choice there. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lucario is in a helpless state do I from the top it? of the stage. And he's like, what do I do? <laughs> I have so many options. <laughs> Boy. I feel like at that point, too, it's just like, do I want a down throw or up throw? What am I feeling today? What do I feel like? Because, yeah, the up throw only kills, like, a couple percent earlier, mm. from my understanding. Mm. And also, like, you know, different, like, stage positioning and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, different positioning. I think it throws more vertical, but down throw maybe actually hits a little harder. Definitely. Something like that. All right. We're going to go game two to Battlefield. I know Primal was telling me this is his absolute favorite stage to play up with Lucario. Loves it. <laughs> Loves it. You got to watch those ledge attacks. Got away with the one in the previous game. It'll get punished if he does it up. I think Boost is now starting to play the MU a little bit more. Ooh. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. think that counter would have hit anyway, because yeah. the hitbox in Lucario's up B doesn't come out till the very end. For sure. Oh, Ooh, nice catch. It's caught him in that big dragon fang glove. Right now he's just kind of blocking out Primal and all those um, options that he is ending up choosing. Primal with a big old curve. Really didn't need to curve that like that, but hey, why not? Show him what you can do. You gotta do the curve, do the he's curve. Do the curve. Do the curve. It's not, just shoots him in the face. All right. It's okay, so now I think Primal's about to get the stock. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Any moment now. 
Probably just a couple oh, back airs. One that, back at, air, really. That, look, that, that. Oh, but speaking okay. of back air. Dude, I love Macario. <laughs> Cario's a nut. He's hilarious. Primal's still definitely not out of it. Lucario oh, has his second comeback mechanic. Exactly. In that if he's a stock behind, he also gains a little bit of extra aura. I'm never going to forget when Braxton, I was at Midwest <laughs> Mayhem with him, and for the, like, the first like few steps he did, he purposely SD'd in the very beginning of each game. Mm -hmm. So he can go ahead and get that aura. It's not as strong as it is in doubles, but yeah. like right now, he's dead. No, oh. that was a pretty solid DI, I believe. So. Boost, boost needs to... Yeah, not unfortunately there, like, there's not a lot Lucario can do except, like, run off, maybe try to back air him against stage. Because, really like, nothing he has will hit below stage except, Definitely. like, down tilt. Why not boost knows the situation? Ooh, he's trying said. to shoot him again. I mean, because if uh, Primal can get the stock, you know, he's already pretty darn close to so good already. So. Oh, oh, he's not able to downer, get the downer. curve oh, he I wants. The downer. The okay. downer. <laughs> from uh, from the exit. <laughs> All right, Boost taking it 2-0 over Primal. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Primal definitely got some, like that one back air kill. <laughs> on game one.